78, I came to Europe for the first time to compete outside Brazil in the World Championship. It was pure driving, pure racing. There wasn't any politics, no money involved either. So it was real racing. aquela aventura de andar em kart e ficasse só nisso. No entretanto, está tomando uma dimensão maior e a gente se preocupa um pouco pelo fato da Fórmula 1 de aí vir por aí, né? Que Deus proteja ele sempre de todos os perigos, que é o que eu mais temo. E quero agradecer ele pelo filho que ele é, por esse ano que ele fez de trabalho honesto e bem feito. Isso é mais importante que qualquer título para mim. Few people really do know myself. They just don't understand what it takes from a racing driver, somebody that has left behind thousands and thousands of miles away, family and friends, to live in Europe, being so young and always in a fighting way. Nothing ever has come easy. Chegou o grande momento. Ayrton está pronto para pilotar pela primeira vez um carro de Fórmula 1. Eu acho que Deus está me dando um presente. Eu vim esperando há muito tempo. E Ele está me ajudando também muito a ficar calmo, tranquilo, com amor. Bom, Ailton, você que não conhecia a cidade, a cidade é muito bonita. Agora, essas ruas são boas para passear, né? Para correr, muito estreita, né? É, realmente, eu cheguei aqui em cima da hora. Fiquei impressionado com o lugar, porque eu nunca tinha estado aqui em Mônaco. E... Mas na pista em si, saindo nas primeiras voltas, eu, eu felizmente consegui me adaptar rápido. Agora, você não tem margem de erro. Um erro significa um acidente aqui. Mas, até o momento, eu estou contente. Eu já viajava muito correndo atrás da Fórmula 1 quando o Ayrton começou a se destacar na, da Fórmula 1 quando estava na Tolema. Tolema era uma equipe que não era vencedora, o carro não era um vencedor e não seria possível ele vencer nenhuma corrida. Por isso, o que o Ayrton fez em Mônaco já é assim coisa de um gênio. has got away in the lead. It's Nigel Mansell second, the two Ferraris third and fourth. Nicky Lauda is in fifth position. Sixth is Rosberg, seventh is Manfred Vinkelock, eighth is Ayrton Senna. And Senna has come up through the field. He started in 13th place and he's now seventh. Ayrton Senna has now passed Pinky Rosberg and is in the third place. Officials, he wants to stop the race, and who can blame him? There is, in fact, 
from a, a purist and a, a dispassionate point of view, no reason to stop the race. There's an official in front of me with a red flag. Vou parar a prova. And the checkered flag is going out. And Prost is stopping, and Senna Prost is the line before he gets there. To Ayrton Fibra, muito ergue o seu braço. Ele festeja como vencedor na prova. Se ela continua por algumas voltas, tenho a certeza de que o Ayrton chegava para passar ele aí. Existia a grande possibilidade de eu ganhar, mas até que você cruzar a linha e chegar em primeiro lugar, seria impossível fazer a previsão. A Fórmula 1 é política, é muito dinheiro. E enquanto você está chegando lá, você tem que passar por isso. Tragic result for Senna. However, he's not about to be world champion this year. He will undoubtedly be world champion in the future if his career continues. Ayrton Senna, a nova estrela da Fórmula 1. Pela primeira vez no pódio da vitória na Fórmula 1. Depois de uma performance fantástica. What about next year? Are you going to stay with the Tolman team? What, what are your plans now? For I don't know. I don't know. At the moment, there's still no decisions and nothing clear. We have to wait more time to, to see what happens. You're not going to be satisfied until you're in a winning position, though, are you? I believe if you are doing something like competing, like motor racing, you either do well or forget it. Lotus was the perfect place for Ayrton to move to. It was a team that had won championships and had won many Grand Prix, and they worked very, very hard around Ayrton to give his talent all the facilities that it needed to win. When I first came to Formula One in 84, I was starting. So I had so much to learn and to achieve that anything any good result was a progress, was a motivation. Then I changed to a bigger team, to Lotus, and I still went up and up and up, and I'm still doing it. So even when I have some problems, I look always to the next race, because maybe one race I have no chance, but next one or the next five will be good against one bad one. So you got to try to make the numbers bigger and bigger. É mesmo pequeno, ele ele já tinha o que ele queria, ele fazia e por exemplo, ele prestava atenção, ele prestava atenção na aula para não precisar estudar em casa e ter tempo suficiente para brincar no caso. There's no doubt that Senna came from a background of a privilege. His family was very comfortably off. Once they recognized that his ambition was to be a racing driver, they had no problem backing his early efforts in go-karts. But it would be a great mistake to think that he was able to buy his way into Formula One. Senna himself realized that to make a serious, lasting impact on Formula One, he had to fight his way into it by virtue of his talent. Ayrton era um gênio na chuva. Em qualquer condição dessas que tornasse a pista mais escorregadia, ele tinha algo mais. A corrida no Estoril foi incrível. Ele botou uma volta em cima de cada adversário, menos um. 
Ah, é maravilhosa, é uma sensação extraordinária. Eu estou realmente muito feliz porque no meu segundo ano da Fórmula 1 eu consegui cumprir o primeiro sonho, que era vencer o primeiro grande prêmio. É a única coisa. Like Madrid, this is something so strong and, and, and so intense. Once you experience it, you keep searching for it all the time. I'm Mili Okada from Japan TV, Fuji TV, and I'm a just a TV personality and not news reporter, so I see. Well, let's make a picture together. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see Japan and uh, see you in Japan. Thank you. Thank you. A little kiss. Bye bye. Another kiss. <laughs> There's only one word that describes the Ayrton style, and that is fast. He would take the car beyond its design capabilities. He would brake later, fly into these corners where the car was just over the edge, and somehow he could dance a dance with that car to where it stayed on the track. As I watched Ayrton's early career, what was very apparent was his pace and his dedication. But in the end, what you're looking for is an intellect. And I thought, this guy's got what it takes. In the mid 80s, McLaren was the team to beat. Ron Dennis was the best manager, Milan Prost was the best driver. We all called Prost the professor because he would do methodically whatever it took to be ahead on points. If it meant coming fifth, he would hold a fifth place and collect those points rather than fighting for a second, third, or first place finish. And he certainly understood the politics of the sport, and he played that game smarter than anyone. You're known as the professor of motor racing because you plan everything out and you know where you're going. Is that actually true? I'm very realistic, so I think uh, when I'm competitive, I'm, I know that I'm competitive. When I'm not, I know when I'm not so... Why yes. are there no women racing drivers? I really don't know exactly why uh, women are not very competitive in motor racing, especially in Formula One. Mm. But, uh, you know, you're a beautiful woman and I know somebody at McLaren who likes you very much and I can run you. <laughs> No. If only someone would teach me how to drive a car, a racing car, I might be able to give up this job. That's and, not uh, very important if I couldn't teach you. Oh. <laughs> Does your wife drive you home? <laughs> We're very confident that we have uh, the best two drivers in the world. Uh, the two most professional drivers as well, and um, if we're not consistently in the winning circle next year, then uh, we certainly won't be able to put the blame at the drivers. It's a great opportunity for me, professional, and as a personal point of view, I feel very happy to work together with Alain. The first year in McLaren, foi um ano muito decisivo na, na vida do, do Ayrton. Ele estava muito tenso. É como se o peso do mundo tivesse aqui nas costas dele, porque ele sentia exatamente a responsabilidade que agora ele tinha de provar que ele realmente era um bom piloto. And as for the first time in his career, the, the car able to be world champion. 
and uh, he doesn't want to let uh, his chance I mean, going away. That's normal, and then he's going to what push on. What about you? What about you? Uh, it's a little bit different. <laughs> little bit, I don't, so you're going to no. let it go? I have a little bit uh, more pressure than... Uh, I mean, you put me more pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could see smiles, but at the same time, some slightly strange body language as they realised just where they were and what was going to unfold. Alan, who obviously felt he was well nested down at McLaren, and the young pretender coming in and clearly threatening that position. Both had great intellects and both were very good racing drivers. Beating each other became far more challenging than beating the rest of the field. That day, I suddenly realized that I was no longer driving it conscious. And I was in a different dimension for me. The circuit for me was a tunnel, which I was just going, going, going. And I realized I was well beyond my conscious understanding. Ayrton was multiple seconds into the lead, had the race in hand with only a handful of laps to go, and he received a radio message that said, you are so far in the lead, slow down. Ayrton Senna has hit the wall. Ayrton Senna is out of his car and out of this race. Ayrton Senna goes out of the lead of the Monaco Gold. Absolutely incredible. He never wanted to beat me. He wanted to humiliate me. He wanted to, to show the people that he was much stronger, much better. And that was his weakness. His post-accident emotion was pure anger with himself and um, he couldn't cope with it at all. He actually walked back to his apartment and it was two or three hours before he surfaced. I just came to so close to perfection that weekend that I, 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 I relaxed and I opened windows for mistakes and I learned that there and um, since then, I progressively come back because I lost some confidence at that moment. And I progressively, I, fought, I fight back. And I got much stronger after that, that instant. Somehow I got closer to, to God. And that has been very important for me as a man. Monaco was the turning point in the 88 season. Ayrton went on an amazing run, winning six of the next eight races, putting him just ahead of Prost in the championship. What happens now, you two? Good fun. We will have good fun from now on. Fight, uh, maybe we fight uh, outside the car. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's going to get more and more excited, the championship. Is it possible to be equal in the championship? No. Shit. Can only be one winner. <laughs> <laughs> De madrugada, o Brasil acordado, aguardando a bandeira da Ayrton Senna para atingir o seu primeiro título mundial na Fórmula 1. Que um sonho que ele alimenta desde os primeiros anos. 
the pressure was on Ayrton. He was on pole, he was going to be world champion if he won that race, so the pressure was huge. Eu pensei, acabou o campeonato. Acabou tudo. Já vem na oitava posição, faz uma recuperação fantástica, cena. A sua coisa favorita aconteceu. Começou a chover. Senna agora já é o quarto colocado. Senna já vem que vem que vem que vem para cima dos dois. Senna está getting close, Senna is going to challenge for the lead. Senna vai que vai que vai com tudo e passa próximo. Ayrton Senna has got the lead. Assim, agradecendo que eu estava fazendo a última volta e eu comecei a agradecer, agradecer porque eu não conseguia nem mesmo acreditar que eu ia vencer finalmente o campeonato em torno daquela ansiedade tremenda, daquela tensão e, e eu senti a presença dele, eu visualizei, eu vi, foi uma coisa especial na minha vida, foi uma sensação enorme e é uma coisa que eu tenho gravada na minha memória e eu vejo, eu tenho como parte de mim. Ayrton Senna, é longe o punho, vibra, é a vitória, Ayrton Senna, do Brasil! Campeão mundial de 1988! Um título impressionante porque ele veio de décimo sexto colocado. Já dá para saber, pouco tempo faz, mas já dá para sentir o que é ser campeão do mundo? Uma paz. Parece que eu tirei algumas toneladas de peso de cima da minha cabeça, de cima dos meus ombros. E não, não deu ainda para realizar o, o que é um campeonato. É campeão! É maravilhosa e ele é muito humilde então ele engrandece muito o nosso Brasil aí fora e dá, dá... ele passa a mensagem da vitória pra gente e eu gosto dele um homem corajoso, a única coisa que eu sei dele não acompanho é um orgulho nosso né? um dos poucos orgulhos que a gente tem ainda né? perguntei um dia pra ele e quando você pensa em parar? olha mãe, o dia que eu for campeão eu paro mas eu sei no fundo que não é isso que não é verdadeiro, a gente sabe disso Quando terminou o campeonato, ele, ele ganhou né, o campeonato, é, era visível a diferença do, do Ayrton do começo do ano e do final do ano, porque, de fato, ele tinha encontrado ele mesmo. Ele tinha encontrado aquilo que ele era desde o início e que se revelou efetivamente na, na conquista do campeonato. Como essa que eu vou chamar agora, que foi a minha descoberta em 88. Ayrton Senna. Não é uma gracinha? Agora eu vou te fazer umas perguntas 
E eu acho que todo mundo está emocionado, mas não mais do que eu, né? Porque fica difícil, tendo amizade com ele, agora a gente olhando assim, vamos conversar duro, assim, então, né? Ayrton, o que você quer de Natal? Presente de Natal. Bom, o que eu realmente quero, eu não posso falar aqui, mas... Por que não? <risos> Censurado. Por que mas... Não? Ah, eu quero só felicidade. Puta que... Uhum. Feliz Ano Novo Feliz 90 Feliz 91 Feliz 92 Feliz 93 The 1989 season was somewhat less harmonious than the year before. Both drivers took on different levels of aggression, especially when racing each other. That's when the gloves come off within a team. That's when engineers stop sharing information. That's where drivers start looking over their shoulder to see who's getting what from whom. And I Ayrton, with his um, love of truth, wasn't as in tune as Alain Prost with adding another dimension, the politics of the sport. Senna Prost, Prost Senna, vous le savez, c'est toujours dans un ordre ou dans l'autre. Le torchon brûle tout simplement parce que le français, Alain Prost, estime que son coéquipier manque de loyauté à son égard. Et visiblement, leur querelle pourrait avoir des suites sur cette saison de Formule 1. Corrida, corrida, ils étaient cada vez plus eh, distants l'un de l'autre. Il dit assim, le français, ce français est dur, parce qu'il veut la guerre. Passou mais um tempinho, separou-se completamente, eles não se falavam mais. Of course, having a French uh, FIA president, uh, Jean-Marie Balestre, at the time, was helpful for uh, Anna, because they were close. All the drivers in the world are looking after you in the TV because they think stupidly that you are an example. This is a big mistake, but they think that, huh? I repeat, no danger for the end of the world championship. Very clear. Now depend you. The championship is neck to neck. Senna has to win the Japanese Grand Prix to keep the points battle going on to the last race. Prost knows that if Senna does not finish, he will be the Formula One champion.
favorecido é Frost. Aqui embaixo o favorecido é Frost. Aí o título fica com o Frost. Mais uma vez para Ayrton Senna é vencer ou vencer. retomando a corrida e saiu dali foi direto para a sala dos comissários. Danine é o primeiro, Senna é o segundo. Desportou, travou Danine, lá vai Senna na ultrapassagem. Bandeiras brasileiras agitadas, o público de pé, Ayrton Senna, bandeiras matriculadas. Brasil! Capacete Ayrton, Senna do Brasil! Visivelmente emocionado, Ayrton Senna! Talvez ali enxugando as lágrimas, abriu a viseira na pista. Foi uma vitória fantástica, como poucas vezes eu vi, Reinaldo. Talvez 20 minutos. Não é comum o pódio não acontecer logo depois da corrida. Quanto mais demorasse, mais a gente temia que a decisão caísse para um lado político. La décision rendue par le Collège des commissaires sportifs du Grand Prix du Japon, excluant la voiture numéro 1 et le pilote Ayrton Senna, des résultats de l'épreuve. Logo após o final da corrida, o telão do autódromo de Suzuka mostrou insistentemente a imagem do acidente e tudo o que aconteceu na tentativa de Senna voltar à pista. E foi observando essas imagens que os comissários de prova concluíram que por não ter Senna percorrido normalmente a chicane na sua volta à pista, ele havia infringido o artigo 56 do regulamento da FIA. Você é o campeão mundial? Aparentemente, sim. Yes. Uh, I was not 100% sure. I know the regulation, but uh, you never know how it's going to be uh, interpreted. But to be very honest, I mean, I'm quite happy to to leave because I think it's uh, it becomes absolutely impossible to work with Ayrton, and uh, and uh, that's a good end of championship. What I'd like to do now is show you uh, some footage which I think is uh, quite relevant because we're told that you can't use escape roads to uh, rejoin the race. Escape roads are not for escaping through, they're in fact for stopping in, turning round and going out of. <laughs> Very important to remember, no exclusions, no penalties, no disqualifications. And for that he's excluded from the Japanese Grand Prix. Where's the consistency? It can't be right. Well, you said that you 
you took your normal race and line, I would put it to you that from the aerial pictures, it looked as though you turned in quite early if it wasn't a normal line at all. I won 39 races and now a Swiss Championship. Do you think that uh, I would I would do something like this on purpose? Yeah. You know, I've already turned for the corner. Maybe a little bit earlier if you want, but that was my corner. Vous avez entendu que ce tribunal, vous avez entendu comme moi que ce tribunal a prononcé non seulement une suspension avec sursis de licence, ce qui est un avertissement non seulement pour Ayrton Senna, mais pour tous les pilotes, mais a prononcé également une aggravation de la peine. Quand on est un, un, un grand pilote, quand on est parmi les meilleurs pilotes du monde, on n'avait plus le droit, on n'avait pas le droit non plus d'avoir un accrochage stupide. The way the whole affair has been treated is like I have total responsibility for everything that took place there. I was blamed for everything and I was penalized for everything. I was treated like a criminal. And this is totally unacceptable. E aquilo foi um golpe muito profundo para Ayrton, porque a atitude do Balestre foi uma, mais do que a do Prost. Ele quase desistiu de correr de Fórmula 1. I've been left him alone for a while, and I gently persuaded him, if you are true to your values, if you believe that your your values are correct values, then walking away from the dark forces that you're faced with in life just doesn't become an option. The 1990 season, he came back wiser. The team is harmonious. Prost has gone out of McLaren to Ferrari, and Senna is in a perfect position to compete for the title. Todos os pilotos andam no seu limite. O meu limite é diferente do do Prost. Essa acho que é a grande realidade. E ao invés de ele procurar melhorar sobre si mesmo. Ele achou mais fácil, mais cômodo atacar. Ayrton tem um pequeno problema. Ele pensa que ele não pode matar ele mesmo. Porque ele acredita em Deus e coisas assim. E eu acho que isso é muito perigoso para os outros drivers. O fato de eu acreditar em Deus, o fato de eu, de eu ter fé em Deus, não quer dizer que eu seja imortal, não quer dizer que eu seja imune. Eu, como vem sendo uh, uh, divulgado, Eu tenho tanto medo quanto qualquer outra pessoa de me machucar, sobretudo guiando um carro de corrida. O perigo é constante. I was in the pits, the practice was stopped. I hear by different people there was an accident, was Donnelly, was bad, was too bad, was disaster, was and I decided to go to the place to to see myself. things went through my mind and in the end I, I realized I was not going to give up my passion even just having seen what I had seen and I had to, to put myself together and walk out, go to the racing car and, and do it again and do it again and do it even better than before because that was the way to kind of cover that um, impact that had on me. 
I was just not ready to give up. As much as I was scared to continue, I was not ready to give up my aim, my target, my objective, my passion, my dream, my life. This is my life. As I, I hear he's out of danger, life danger, which is a lot considering the, the accident. And as it happened to him, can happen to any of us. There are some things that you can calculate, and but there are things which are un unexpected. And those unexpected things are the most dangerous ones, like it happened to him today. Um, I hope we don't see those things in the future. Amazingly, for the third time in a row, the championship hinged on the race in Japan. But this time, if Prost didn't finish, Ayrton would be champion. Gentlemen, morning, the numbers of laps from green light to checkered flag will be 53 laps. Dangerous behavior and or dangerous maneuver will be investigated immediately and may lead to suspension of the license for one or more Formula One World Championships events. Any questions? Yes. It was a big yes. fuck up last year with the Aiden. Why we have to repeat the same thing? The same thing is, the Michigan King, the steward stop you. All right, I have no, no traffic, let you go. If you have to turn around and go backwards against another car, that's, that's, <laughs> that's much dangerous. Much dangerous. Okay. Does everybody feel that way? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Huh? <laughs> I can't stand this. It's a joke. After what happened last year, it's a joke, this situation. It just proved here, I said nothing, and you see somebody raising the point, and you see everybody agree. And last year was really bad for me. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. story down in the pit lane and on the grid is one of tension with the world championship up for grabs everyone is extremely tense Ayrton Senna actually walked out of the drivers meeting today he thinks that the pole position should be on the left hand side of the grid not on the right normally if the inside was clear the inside for sure is better because it's dirty the outside is better like or like uh... the racing line is the line where the cars most normally drive it's the fastest line around the track. It's really important to have pole position on the racing line. If you are on the opposite side, you are on a part of the track that is rarely used and has half the grip. If you have the clear circle, you get away better on the outside of the inside. Because the inside, you don't have the clear circle. Okay, please. But with the chief steward, with the FIA, would Balestra agree? Ayrton Senna will be in pole position for tomorrow's Japanese Grand Prix. Prost was second fastest. Pole position was his and then suddenly the pole position was mysteriously moved to the dirty side of the circuit, which he felt was unjust. 
that decision influenced by Balet. I know that. We know that. I was fucked many times by the system. I told myself, today is no way. Today has to be my way. I don't care what happens. It has to be my way. O campeonato está terminado e Ayrton Senna é o campeão de 1990. That's a very sad way for this year's World Championship to finish. Can you tell us what happened on the first lap, Ayrton? Well, unfortunately, we touched in the first corner when we were fighting for the lead, and we both went off. You think that's because the pole position is on the wrong side of the track here? You wanted to change that? Absolutely. You fight, you break your to be on pole, and then they put you on the wrong side of the circuit. How do you feel about being world champion? It's not a bad feeling at all, is it? Congratulations. What well, was very clear with my Edson when he got back is that his body language, his mannerisms showed that he was in massive conflict. He was certainly not proud of himself, certainly not reveling in the fact that you know, this had determined the world championship. Formula One World Championship for drivers, Ayrton Senna. A tour on the world champion, Ayrton Senna. He knew I was right with him. He moved to the inside line, going towards the first corner. I just chased him then, and he opened the gap. And knowing me, like he does know, he must realize that if there was a gap, I was gonna try to overtake him. Okay, let me ask you another difficult question. If I were to count back all the world champions, the number of times they had made contact with other drivers, that you in the last 36 months or 48 months have been in contact with more other cars and drivers than they might have done in total. I find amazing for you to make such a question, Stuart, because you are very experienced mm, and you know very. a lot about racing. And um, you should know that by being a racing driver, you are under risk all the time. And by being a racing driver means you are racing with other people. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver because we are competing. We are competing to win. And, and the main motivation to all of us is to compete for a victory. It's not to come third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. But hasn't that always right? been the case? But I think, I think it's all irrelevant. All, all what you're saying, Jack, is really irrelevant because I'm a driver that won more races than anybody over the past three years. I'm a driver that has been on pole position more than anybody in history. Correct. And I'm a driver that won two titles in the past three years. All and right. I don't think how, I cannot comprehend how you can try to turn things around to say that I be involved in more accidents than anybody because that is not true as well. Two of the most great champions of the history of the Formula 1 in the sable for a final raté. Chacun accuse l'autre. The most murderous is, of course, Prost. Reaction epidermic. I wanted to put my head on the figure, I traversed the mind, and I was so disappointed. I didn't even have the desire because I think he was disappointed profoundly. 
Senna versus Prost, which went on for a couple of seasons and more, was just absolutely wonderful for Formula One's appeal. The television ratings improved, you know, everything went up. People talked about it. It was controversial, shocking, fascinating. The success of the sport also grew, you know, commercially, and Bernie Ecclestone was very clever, the way they distribute television. But to keep an audience, you need personalities. And of course, the, the Prost Senna story was a big hit. And Ayrton became very famous outside the sport, thanks to the impact of Formula One on TV. In Brazil, it was very different. The people were unhappy under the regime that was ruling them. Poverty was just desperate. So his appeal there at a hard time was extraordinary. A situation do Brasil era muito muito negativa, muito sombria. E o que aconteceu foi que quando Ayrton ganhou inúmeras vezes, e ao invés de esconder que ele era brasileiro e como outras, ele ao contrário, ele pegava a bandeira brasileira, ativava isso dentro dele a cada domingo. Esse exemplo ativava nas pessoas a mesma força e por isso a admiração. Nunca tinha vencido o Grande Prêmio do Brasil. E desde que ele começou a correr na Fórmula 1, sempre disse que era o grande sonho ganhar em casa. Vem a largada do Grande Prêmio do Brasil. Não pintou, demorou, vermelha. Vai pintar, vem a verde. Vamos, Senna. Larga bem, Senna. Escapou ali na porta. Pulled out the lead. He was then really faced with a very easy race win. Aí o Senna, tá chovendo, tá chovendo. And then the gearbox jammed, and he was faced with several laps to go, only having a sixth gear. Parece impossível pilotar um carro de Fórmula 1 com o câmbio travado na sexta marcha. Ele queria até parar. Ele não podia mais continuar a correr. Mas ele tinha tentado tantas vezes vencer o Grande Prêmio do Brasil que ele encontrou dentro dele uma força especial. Foi o seu momento mais heróico. Foi 
Devido ao desgaste extremo, eu tive espasmo muscular nos ombros e no pescoço. E a dor era, era absurda. No final de semana inteiro, com estresse, a pressão foi enorme. E o resultado só podia ser esse mesmo, a, acabar a corrida sem nada sobrando. E hoje não tem tanto, vai ter que dar, vai ter que dar e vai ter que chegar em primeiro porque ele é maior do que todos e ele vai me dar essa corrida depois de tudo. E foi isso mesmo, Deus me deu essa corrida e, e valeu, e eu estou feliz demais e a emoção foi muito grande. Todo o Brasil, então, valeu a vitória de Senna, que está de parabéns mais uma vez. Valeu, Brasil, valeu toda a torcida. O, o calor humano esse final de semana foi tão grande que a gente tinha que ganhar dessa vez. Não podia escapar e a gente foi, a gente conseguiu e vamos lá. Life can be very difficult in Brazil. You have, in Brazil you have all the, extreme, all the extremes. You have the fantastic nature. You can have all the good material things that money can buy. But at the same time you have lots of problems, social problems and poverty, some violence as a consequence. I try to help a little bit for children, particularly. Como o Ayrton é, tinha uma, uma projeção muito grande no Brasil, muitas pessoas pediam ajuda para pessoal ou, às vezes, um hospital, algum tipo de instituição pedia algum tipo de ajuda, doação. O Ayrton dava, eram sempre doações bastante pontuais. Ele estava querendo fazer isso de uma maneira mais organizada. Ele não queria continuar fazendo doações pontuais. Ele queria desenvolver toda uma, uma coisa bem organizada, bem planejada. E queria fazer alguma coisa para ajudar, e especialmente crianças. Ayrton in 91 was in great form. I think it was his strongest year. He won seven races, constantly on pole position. The intensity was every bit as high as ever. But there just seemed to be a further wisdom, a further bit of growth.
But then the car bit him hard. For the first time, he really thought he could be hurt in a Formula One car. Neurological examination to check the chest and the blood pressure, the abdomen, uh -huh. and the limbs. And uh, how did you feel? Where you from? He's fine. He's been... No problems to worry about? No, none at all. Uh -huh. no. It's the deepest personal relationship that I've ever had with any driver. Whenever I got to the circuit and ran into Senna, he was usually being interviewed or surrounded by people. And the moment he saw me, his face would always light up with a beautiful grin. Because he had that wonderful humility, which is not common amongst racing drivers. All right, lad. Pleasure. Be careful. You still got some to do. Yes. Gresham. Yes. <clears throat> we, we talk about the, the chicanes and the barriers that we had there with the tires. Yes. If you happen to hit those tires, it's very likely that the tires throw you up in the air and you end up rolling. That's what happened with me in Mexico, and that can happen here with other people. I agree that for the moment it's not the evil thing that we have done. The president have talked yesterday with Mr. Moore. No, 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 no forget Mr. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and he has... Forget, forget. forget. Okay, the president of the FISA. No, forget. Forget the president. Now, we speak of, of, for, for the picture of Mr. Senna. Yes. Now, what we do today, what we do today for the race? For the race, we can do anything. I think it's better to not have those ties there. I happen to lose the breaking point at the first game yesterday. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me know finish. What? Let, let me finish. finish. Let me finish. And as I went straight, it was blocked the road. I know that. And I couldn't turn back. If we move the time, we must place on the place the road. The code. The code. Yeah. And that way, there is a runoff area. No, 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 And still, yes, you, you have to... No, as you can no. Back you must restart on the same place you you can back on the track. because you must respect the distance of the race. You cannot come back. I'm sorry, that is a regulation. Oh, why is it is regulation? No, 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 it's written in the regulation. We got a letter yesterday. On page 3. <laughs> Yeah, the last one. Why are you not very good penalty for you. No, 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 I have a feeling for that. No, I have a feeling. No, because you don't know my, deci my decision. It is the best every time decision, my decision. My decision is democratic vote. Only let the driver by end. I don't want to wait though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are in favor? We replace the tie by the, the codes. Your hand. Stop. Everybody. Again. Attention. Everybody agree. Okay? Immediately the work, you replace the drive by the code. Okay? Alan, what happened going into that chicane? I tried to overtake uh, Senna. It was uh, blocked me doing the all res. Not very correct. I think everyone knows Brost by now. He is always complaining either by the car or the tires or the team or the mechanics or the fuel or 
or the other drivers or the circuit. It's always somebody else to blame. It's never his fault. Yeah, no problem. But uh, I have nothing to lose. I can't win the championship. But uh, if I find him again the, the same way, if he's correct the same way, I push him out. Prost was sacked from Ferrari because he'd criticized the car. The only thing he could do really was to take a year off, telling everybody he was on a sabbatical. If I finish second place in the championship, it will be over. If Mansell does not win, then it's almost certain that the championship will be over as well. Senna's third world title ensures that he'll be ranked among the all-time greats. After that third world championship, I saw another Senna. He was very satisfied, very confident. He knew the sport better than ever. He saw it with real eyes for the good and the bad, and he still loved it as much as anyone in the paddock. Ser tricampeão para o Ayrton era apenas o cumprimento de um roteiro que ele traçou desde que ele entrou na Fórmula 1 porque ele sabia que ele era capaz disso e até muito mais. Um grande ídolo do esporte brasileiro. Na verdade, ele veio a se tornar o grande ídolo do esporte mundial. There is a, a great desire on me on improving, getting better. That makes me happy. And every time that I feel I'm slowing down my learning process, my learning curve is getting flatter or whatever, then it doesn't make me very happy. Uh, and that applies not only as a profession, as a racing driver, but also as a man. Uh, of course, 
I shall have a lot more to learn as a man than a racing driver because my career could last not many years. My life hopefully will go still for a long time. Maybe I'm only at the half of my life right now. So there, would, there is a lot to go, a lot to learn, a lot to do still in life. And uh, happiness will come when I feel complete as a whole, which definitely I don't feel today. But I have plenty of time to fulfill that too. For the next season, the level of competition was distorted by what was going on technically with Williams' car. The car balanced itself. Each corner was controlled by a computer. All the driver had to do was put his right foot down and go as fast as possible. So in a car without that, you were at a serious disadvantage. But Clara is still well off the Williams-Renault pace. With the result, the three times world champion Ayrton Senna has no chance of retaining his title. When you go into this sort of uh, electronic war, um, you can find yourself completely stuck. The electronics do a given, a given situation when and no matter who you put in the car, the electronics will do the work and not the driver. And I don't think that is really what you want to have a, a, a truly world championship of drivers. Les tractations ont été longues, mais l'on ne sait toujours pas qui sera le coéquipier de Prost. Toujours est-il que le triple champion du monde a signé pour deux ans et commencera à courir en essai dès cette semaine. The only thing I asked in the contract, I said, I don't want to be a teammate with Ayrton. Uh, it has to be clear. And they have accepted that very quickly. They said, no, it's not our intention. And that is the only thing I ask on the contract because I wanted to be a world champion. I did not want to lose the opportunity. It's no secret that I've been trying very hard to, to get some, some deal with Williams. The um, situation is very complex. It is it's not nice, it's not clear either. Muita certeza de uma coisa que uma eventual parada minha durante um ano ou mais de um ano, quem mais tem a perder com isso tudo sou eu, porque eu estou numa idade pique da minha carreira, o número de anos na carreira de um piloto é limitado e ninguém sai sem mais perdendo uma possível parada minha do que eu mesmo, temos uh, esportivos, pessoais. Em 93, o Ayrton estava pilotando como um puro gênio. Para mim, foi a melhor temporada dele. He did accomplish some of his greatest drives, even though he spent most of his time looking at the back of a Williams car, which was much faster than his. French racing driver Alain Prost has won the Formula One World Drivers Championship for the fourth time. Prost won the championship and duly retired us getting out of the way. It seems like a little goodbye from you to McLaren. Um, do you think it was the last season for McLaren? I think so. I think it will be my last season. Let's try and do it best we can for both of us. Okay, we put, put it behind us. What happened? For sure. Good. Even without you saying anything, that was my, my 
I go anyway. Yeah, okay. you know, but it's... But without talking to you, if we didn't talk at all, I wouldn't change. I was going yeah, to no. go okay. exactly as I, as I, as I always try. It's never too late to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he said he was happy for me, and uh, that's what he told me too. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> and I said, you know, must keep the good times, the good moments, and let's finish that way. Finish with the good things. It was Senna's last race for McLaren, Cross's last race for Williams, and although nobody knew at the time, it was the last time either of them would be on a, on a podium. Ladies and gentlemen, Brazilian driver Ayrton Senna. Jack is arguably the best driver available, the best driver currently racing. The team is geared to being successful. All our partners, investors, sponsors expect that of us. And that is therefore the best piece of equipment, if you like, you could put in the machine to deliver to our requirements. The International Motorsports Federation has banned some of the controversial computer devices which help drivers in Formula One motor racing. The ban is designed to stop the domination of the richest Formula One teams like Williams Renault, the world champions. Ayrton Senna is running against the time. He has to be with the team and adjust the car. He says that he is uncomfortable. Este carro que já está sem os componentes eletrônicos usados pelos carros do ano passado. Ele não tem o controle de tração, o freio especial e a suspensão eletrônica. Ah, os carros, como eu já disse antes, vão de imediato, são um pouco mais instáveis com a retirada da suspensão eletrônica. É... E um pouco mais difíceis, então, com consequência de pilotar. Talvez tenha mais carros rodando, saindo da pista. Então ali a gente talvez veja mais carros rodando, mais emoção para o público, né? Para a gente até o ponto que não acontece nada. Quando acontece alguma coisa, não, não é muito confortável. Senna em segundo lugar. Almost 8 segundos entre eles agora. Certainly not happy with the way uh, things are with the car right as they are at the moment. Uh, the handling isn't uh, particularly good. The cars weren't supposed to have any of the electronic aids that they'd had the previous year. But Senna became convinced that the Benetton, being driven by Michael Schumacher, who had won the first two races of the season, had retained some of those, particularly the traction control, the thing that eliminates the wheel spin. It didn't stack up that he was being blown away by the Benetton. He wanted us to protest, which we didn't do.
we are here starting from zero so basically our championship starts here it's not a comfortable position to be in but that's the reality now you've won here three times already you really do need to make it four i would love to Eu nunca senti o Senna tão tenso como naquele fim de semana. Em nenhum momento eu vi ele sorrindo. Estava sempre muito compenetrado, aborrecido, entristecido mesmo. Conheci o Ayrton, não precisa ser apresentado aí. Não, já conhecia, já. Mas conhecia de nome ou pessoalmente? Pessoalmente, né? Sempre, porque eu sempre estive acompanhando a Fórmula 1, então já tinha conhecido pessoalmente. Você tá nervoso por quê? Não, quando a gente fica perto de uma personalidade assim, sempre a gente fica emocionado. <risos> Boa sorte pro campeão e pro futuro campeão. <risos> Obrigado. Shocked, of course, but he's all right. You, you, you don't so, the show, yes, yes. Ayrton was still uncomfortable in the new relationship and he was very uncomfortable with the car. But he struggled and put it on pole position.
Ladies and gentlemen, the San Moreno Grand Prix organizer has received a report from the Maggiore Hospital in Bologna that the driver of car number 32, MTV Simtek Ford, Roland Ratzenberger, succumbed to injuries sustained in the accident which took place at Imola Circuit during Saturday qualifying practice, April the 30th. It was the first time that we have to face a dead Formula One driver for our generation. The whole atmosphere was very heavy that afternoon, you know, and everybody was thinking about what, what are we doing here, or what's the point, you know. Ayrton got very, very upset and cried a bit. And that's when I said to him, you know, Ayrton, you, you've been three times world champion, you're the fastest man in the world, and uh, you like fishing. So I said, why don't you quit? And I'll quit, and we just go fishing. He said, Sid, I can't quit. No sábado, no jantar, o Frank Williams tinha dúvida se o Senna ia estar na, no grid. Eu mesmo tinha certeza que ele não queria correr. dar para ele o maior presente de todos os presentes, que era ele mesmo. Sai, repare, para um lado para o outro. Mas já vem cheio. Já vem cheio. E aí, o leto. Terrível a pancada. Muita sorte de Lami e de Leto. Esse cara vai para a pista. Bye. 
mais a placa ali do safety car. Isso quer dizer que o safety car deve se encaminhar para o box ali. E aí vai. Pena apontou. Tomar era o segundo. Vai o Schumacher, tenta botar pressão em cima de Ayrton Senna nesta sexta volta. Bateu forte ali na Tamburelo, a batida muito forte. Got him out of the cockpit, got his helmet off, got an airway into him, and I saw from his neurological science that it was going to be a fatal head injury. And then he sighed and his body relaxed. And that was the moment, and I'm not religious, that I thought his spirit had departed. Even at racing speed, Tamburello is not a corner that you would make a mistake on. Something on the car would have to go wrong. Maybe the power steering failed. Maybe it was the tire temperatures that made the car skate straight off the road. It will always be a mystery. Houve uma causa, houve. Mas o que eu acredito mesmo é essa quebra na barra da direção. E o carro ficou incontrolável. Mas acima de tudo foi uma fatalidade, porque a batida do carro é no ângulo exato para que um braço de suspensão atingisse um capacete. 
Ayrton ran out of luck. He did not have a broken bone in his body. He did not have any bruising. If that piece of assembly would have gone six inches higher or six inches lower, he would have walked back to the paddock. have to go back to uh, 78 and 79 and 1980 when I was go-kart driving. I came to Europe for the first time to compete outside Brazil as a teammate for <laughs> Fullerton, named Fullerton. He was very experienced. And I enjoyed very much that driving with him because he was fast, he was consistent. He was, for me, a very complete driver. And it was pure driving, pure racing. There wasn't any politics then, right? And no money involved either. So it was real racing. And I, uh, I have that as a very good memory.
corpo do beija-flor, beija-flor, beija-flor. E toda a fauna, flora, grita de amor. Quem segura o porte estandarte tem arte, tem arte. E aqui passa com raça eletrônico, maracatu atômico. Manama, eu. Aê, aê, manama, eu. Aê, aê, manama, eu. Aê, aê, manama, eu. Aê, aê, atrás do arranha-céu, tem um céu, tem um céu. E depois tem outro céu, sem estrelas. Em cima do guarda-chuva tem a chuva, tem a chuva. Que tem gotas tão lindas que até dá vontade de comê-las. Manama eu, aê, aê, manama eu, aê, aê, manama eu, aê, aê, manama Dentro do porta-luvas tem a luva, tem a luva Que alguém de unhas negras e tão afiadas esqueceu de pôr Fundo do para-raio tem um raio, tem um raio Que caiu da nuvem negra no temporal Todo quadro negro é todo negro, é todo negro Que eu escrevo seu nome nele só pra demonstrar o meu apelo 